Alright, today I'm going to demo the Field Piece S Man 4. This is Field Piece's brand new 4 port wireless digital manifold. Let's go ahead and check out the display. Alright, getting a close up of the display, what you'll see is the top line is always your pressures, the center line is always your temperature mode, and the bottom line, depending on what function you're in, will display a few different things. It generally will always have your refrigerant. Um, it'll also have your target superheat when you're in superheat and subcooling mode or calculating your target superheat. And right here is also where the microns get displayed when you put it into vacuum. It automatically goes into vacuum once you start pulling a vacuum, so I, I can't really show it without you know, hooking it up to a pump. And the uh, refrigerants, what you'll notice, one cool thing that we did is we have the most popular refrigerants next to each other. So like if you're a refrigeration guy, 404 and 134A are always next to each other. And if you're an air conditioning guy, 410 and R22 are uh, right next to each other. There's 39 refrigerants total, but at least you won't have to keep on going through the whole entire list to get to those refrigerants. All right, now let's check out the buttons. I right, go along with just going along the buttons, kind of list them off. I got the light turns on the backlight, turns it off. Got the refrigerant button, up and down arrow, just to scroll through various refrigerants. On off button, uh, the arrow button that's jet, that's used for a couple different things when you're programming your micron alarm with 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 this button. So if I hold down the alarm button, it gets into the high alarm mode. So what this is going to do is I can set this to let's say a thousand microns and after I go past that you know go below a thousand and it, the microns start creeping up again you can it, the alarm will go off at a thousand microns now your low microns you might want to set it for something like 500 and now what it'll do is when I start pulling a vacuum the alarm, you'll see the first alarm go off when you hit 500 microns, that's the low, the low level. And then as you turn off the pump and shut down the system, it'll, uh, you know, the microns start creeping up again and it'll go off once it hits 1,000. There also will be a timer in this display right here um, that you can actually see it, how long it took. A lot of manufacturers will spec out that it needs to stay under, for example, 1,000 microns for three or four minutes or you know whatever they spec out and this way you can measure all of that. All right, next buttons are mode button. This is probably one of the most common buttons you'll use. What it does is it cycles through these four modes. So right now we're in superheat and subcooling. How you can tell that is by the SH and the SC right next to the, uh, the mode. So what this, is, what this 110 degrees of superheat saying is my pipe pipe temperature of around 70 degrees and at zero PSI produces a 110 degree superheat. To see that, you know, a 69 degree temperature. That's the actual measure uh, measurement of this clamp is taking right here. So what I can do is kind of just show you how it creeps up. I'll just warm it up a little bit with my finger and you can see it climb really fast. And so this is, uh, the T1 is always to this port right here, you know, left side of the, uh, the left, left clamp. And then T2 is displayed right here and it always will be your right clamp. All right, next mode is saturation. This is basically your PT chart uh, built right in. And so R22 at zero PSI has a vapor saturation of negative 42 and a liquid saturation of 41.6. So very tiny amount of temperature glide with R22. And last one is target superheat. And what this is for is for calculating your target superheat. We're gonna go ahead and do that with uh, wirelessly. This is the cool wireless function of it. I can actually get my indoor wet bulb sent outside to the S-Man 4 um, and my outdoor dry bulb wirelessly sent to the S-Man 4 and get a live target superheat. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so what we're going to do is wirelessly sync a wet bulb temperature. So how we're going to do that is first we have the field piece ARH5 accessory head. It has a little thermistor that you can kind of see right there. And it's measuring wet bulb. And I have it connected to a wireless transmitter, the ET2W. So I just you know set this up and plug this on. And what I'm going to do is put it in the wet bulb to get my indoor wet bulb. Alright, so what I do with this is first I have to get to the 
that function on the S-Man 4. So when I'm in the target superheat mode, where I have the indoor wet bulb, outdoor dry bulb displayed, what I have to do is just press up on the arrow, and when that's blinking, it's ready to get synced with my ET2W. So I'm just gonna hold down that sync button, hold down the sync button on my ET2W, and you'll see that display come up. Now what's cool about it is you saw that 50 degree before, if you sync it once, it actually remembers. So I can go ahead and turn this off, turn my ET2W off, and then when I go ahead and turn it back on, it'll, it'll, it'll remember that wet bulb. So you can see that's a live measurement that I have right there just by turning it on and off. So once you do it once, it's actually really easy to just, as long as you keep your, your wet bulb um, accessory head, the Air H5, onto this particular ET2W, then you'll, this, it'll always get synced up right here. So it makes it real easy for setup, you know, after the first time. Okay, now to sync my outdoor dry bulb, I just press the up arrow and wait till I have my OD dry bulb blinking. And I'm gonna grab another accessory head. This is the ATH4, just a standard K-type thermocouple accessory head. Make sure I got it on. And then just press sync, it's waiting, and then sync again on the ET2W. and 67 degree outdoor dry bulb. This is just measuring the temperature in the room. So what it's doing is you see this 5.8 target superheat. It's literally taking the wet bulb measurement and the outdoor dry bulb measurement and looking up on a psychrometric chart that's built in to the uh, S-Man 4 and calculating your live target superheat. So now I can just actually go ahead and set this up to a system, walk outside, hook up all my hoses and my clamps and get my live measurement, you know, temperature measurements while looking at my pressures and my, you know, suction line, liquid line temperatures. Um, so that's the wireless feature of the S-Man 4. Okay, now the next thing that the S-Man 4 can do wirelessly is send all of those measurements that I have to the HG3. Now this is the HG3, it's an updated version of the HG1 and 2. And what I'm going to kind of do is introduce why you'd want all that measurement. It's basically the data log, data log and capture information in the system. So this will send it to any of the tests that I have on the dial. Check me, superheat, subcooling, you know, any pertinent of the tests. Um, but I'm going to do the check me test. Check me basically combines delta T, superheat, and subcooling into one test. It completely looks at the entire system um, and all the measurements involved. It takes about 10 pieces of data and calculates and diagnoses a system based on those 10 pieces of data. So what the S-Man 4 is responsible for is for six of those uh, pieces of data. It's gonna transfer liquid uh, suction line pressure, suction line temperature, indoor wet bulb, outdoor dry bulb, and also uh, suction line temperature and suction line, or in liquid line temperature. So it's going to transfer all six of those to the HG3. So how I do that is I just put it in T1 and T2 direct mode on the S-Man 4. And you know that by the T1 and T2. And I just hold down sync. And then now it's waiting for the S-Man, for the HG3 to get synced. And I just hold sync on the HG3. And there we go. Actually, to, before you press sync, what you want to do is highlight one of the measurements that the S-Man 4 is sending. So I highlighted return wet bulb, and it knows to sync the return wet bulb. It will also sync the other five measurements. So just kind of going down, check me, and look, seeing all the information that's in there. First, we have the type of refrigerant. Then we have return dry bulb. You could sync another... ATH4 and ET2W and get return dry bulb, but I'm just showing you what the S-Man 4 can do with the HG3 uh, initially in this demo. Then we have return wet bulb, supply dry bulb, the refrigerant type, rated amps, target subcool, suction line pressure, that's where you see our, our second measurement that we're sending wirelessly. Since I don't have it hooked up to anything, it's just sending a zero PSI. My next line is suction line temperature. That's coming right off the S-Man 4. And you'll notice it's live. Like it, 
it's stable right now, but if I put my, if I clamp it onto my finger, you'll see that it jumps up really quickly. And so all those, it's just, you know, transferring all the data live. And then liquid line pressure, liquid line temperature, outdoor dry bulb, condenser amps, and customer ID. So those are basically all the things I, would, I can enter in. And all the blank lines can just be added with a, another ET2W and the appropriate accessory head. And I'll do a little bit more in-depth uh, video on the HG3 itself and all, all it can do. What I want to just show you here is that the S-Man 4 is sending six measurements to like a sort of brain. And with this brain, I can save all the data and um, download it to a PC and, and keep track of all my customers' uh, info on their systems.